guys, Misty here from the Jolly Fat Elf. Welcome back to another card in my 2017 holiday card series. Today I'm using Santa's suit. Before we go much further, let me apologize for the yellow on my thumb. I burned it, put the mustard on it. Hopefully it'll feel better. So I am going to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, you can use this stamp set in a couple of ways. But one way that you can do this is you can stamp the outline of the images and then you can use these to fill them in with whatever ink color you want to. So you don't have to color this image whatsoever. But I like the new blends and I'm going to play with them. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp um, the hat, the jacket, the suspender pants things, Santa, his boots. I think that's everything. I want to see about making a shader card. I haven't quite decided. I haven't made it that far yet in the thought process. <laughs> So we'll see. So I just have a scrap piece of Whisper White here. And hopefully I won't get mustard everywhere. So if you missed my announcement, I'm doing Jolly Mel for the blend abilities. And I put a limit of $150 on the high. You don't have to spend $150. I should probably put that somewhere. But you're so close to that anyway. And when you spend $150, get free product so not only are you going to get your own free product but you're also going to get free product from me so um, when you spend $150 you're going to get a free memento tuxedo black which is what I'm using to stamp today you're also going to get supplies to make 12 Christmas cards and there's also oops, smeared there is also a $75 option, and I'm also going to start a blends club, which will be just a few, like $25, $30 a month. Um, so be on the lookout for that. So I am going to use my tray cobblers, and I'm also going to use my ivory. I'm going to keep this really, really simple.
Hi guys, I'm back. So I have all of my die cut pieces ready to go and um, just to send them through the big shot. I'm gonna go ahead and do my card base. I have a piece of garden green that measures four and a quarter by 11. I've scored it at five and a half to make a top floating card. I have a piece of whisper white that measures four by five and a quarter. This is going on the inside. Don't forget you can pick up these measurements over on the coordinating blog post. Sorry about my bracelet. It wants to be loud today. It is a medical alert bracelet and I cannot take it off because I cannot get it back on. <laughs> so Rob has to help. He's not here. If I go somewhere, I need people to know that I am sick. So yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not sick, sick, but I'm kind of sick. <laughs> so I cut a piece of the hound's tooth to three and three quarters by five. This is four by five and a quarter. I brought in a layering circle framelit. This is a little bit of a bigger one. I'm gonna go ahead and put this where I want it. The last thing I need to do is cut a window sheet. Is that about even? I think it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut a window sheet. I have a piece of Whisper White that measures three and three quarters by three and three quarters. I'm gonna cut all of this out, then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So you can save this for another card and maybe I'll show you what to do with it this week. I have all of my pieces cut out. I have my circle cut out of my card layer and I have everything ready to go. The last thing, oh no. Well, I guess we know where we're putting our sentiment. <laughs> Dang it. The last thing I want to do is I want to color the background. I don't want it to just be white, um, but I also don't want to use a dark color. So I'm going to use my pool party, the lightest one, the blendability. our a little bit to cut off but not a whole lot. And I'm going to bring in So I'm going to bring in my embossing buddy just to kind of help remove some of the static. I'm going to bring in some foam adhesive strips and I'm going to go pretty close to that circle but I don't want the adhesive to show so I'm leaving just a little bit.
Okay, one more time I'm going to run my embossing buddy around. Then I'm going to put in my clothing. And I'm putting it face down so that you guys can see that. Hold on just a second. <laughs> Hold on. One minute. There we go. So you just want to put everything face down. And then I'm going to add in some of this mix. I'm going to try to stay away from the buttons. Although buttons may be cute. Then I'm going to carefully adhered to our card base. I love it. <laughs> it's so cute. <sighs> so my idea was to have him. You know what? Let's recolor him. Oh yeah, he stands out way better now. I mean, he's so cute! <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and add some Wink of Stella. This feels like deja vu. Have I made this card? In my brain? Nobody wants a skinny Santa! You guys, I didn't really love Rudolph. I mean, is right. I mean, it was okay. And I didn't really love Charlie Brown Christmas. And don't tell my husband that because he will cry. <laughs> that's probably his favorite Christmas movie. He's not big into movies, but and he loves the soundtrack. So I'm just I don't know. This is not my favorite. It's just not my favorite. This is cute. Let's stamp our little sentiment. Do I have another piece of Whisper White laying around? I sure do. I'm going to stamp this in the cherry cobbler. One and a quarter inch. <laughs> and 
And then we will cut out a garden green using the one and three eighths inch. Let's do one and a half. There we go. How fun. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you head over to the blog post to get the coordinating recipe and see all the supplies, links, etc. Make sure you check out the video for Jolly Mail and for my Stampin' Blends Club. So thanks guys. I will see you real soon. Bye for now.